Hi, I'm Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor Tom Sticking in today. I want to talk to you about a term that I use through Impact called stacked. Um, when you take a look at some players, uh, if you look at their head position, it is where it is at the top of their backswing. As this particular player comes through, you can see her head tends to back up and out of it as the lower body runs out from under. Uh, and this causes the low point to fall behind the golf ball. As you can see right there, there's a low point of her swing and then she hits up to the golf ball. Now, for a driver, it's not that big a deal uh, if you fall back a little bit, uh, as she's doing right here. But when you start hitting the longer clubs or the irons uh, off the ground, uh, it becomes a big issue. So once again, you can see, as we play this a little bit faster, her head tends to fall backwards, moving her low point, and that makes it hard for her to do what she's capable of with the uh, longer irons and woods, uh, as well as the irons uh, off the fairway. Now, as we take a look at here, this is a little drill. As I take it back, just a little partial swings coming down. You can see the head kind of stays right over the top of where it started. This is a more stacked condition at impact. And as we look at these two together, you can really get a sensation of one, uh, the head backing up and out of it, and the other one, the head, sternum, and zipper kind of staying more on top of it. So once again, uh, the feeling from the top is to feel from a dress to the top like your head is right over the top of your zipper and your sternum. Now here again, that's not exactly reality. It's kind of a feel, but if you find yourself backing up and out of it because of a poor pivot, uh, you're going to have some issues with the low point. So therefore, hit some little pitch shots like I'm doing right here and really work on that stack condition and impact. If you'll do that, you'll be able to control your low point a whole lot more effectively.